Hi, my name is Tazi and in this video, I'm going to talk about the CBSC English writing topic, which is report writing. So let's start the video. Wait, who are you? I'm Tazi. No, I'm Tazi. Well, what's in a name anyway? I'm here to discuss report writing with you. Okay. So let's, let's start, start the video. video. So let us look at the contents of today's video. First of all, we're going to see what is a report. Then we'll be dealing with the types of report writing that you need to prepare for your exams. We're also going to look at the different formats of report writing. We'll see what should be included in these different types of formats. And most importantly, we're going to look at some important useful words that can make our report writing pretty easy. Finally, we're going to look at some do's and don'ts of report writing. So, what is a report? A report is a systematic, well-structured, small piece of writing. It consists of facts and findings of an event or an incident that has already happened in a particular location, at a particular time, on a specific date. Generally, you get to see two types of report writing questions in your exam. The first one is about an event organization. It can be for a newspaper or for a school magazine. For a newspaper, it could be an awareness campaign. For a school magazine, it can be a report about annual day celebration. The other type of report writing that you get to see in your exam is about an incident or an accident. An incident like robbery, an accident like a bus mishap. Okay, so what does the teacher want to see in the report that I write in the exam? Well, there are several places where you can draw the attention of the teacher and score marks in your report writing. For example, give a proper heading to your report, write the name of the reporter. Then in the content area, you give it a proper opening, give the details of the event or the incident in a logical sequence, then you give it a proper conclusion. The teacher is also going to look at the appropriate use of words, grammatical accuracy and spellings. Finally, the teacher would look at the coherence and relevance of style. Coherence, like I said before, is the logical flow of your report writing and bringing it to a proper conclusion. Wow. We're going to look at all of this now. Sounds great. And is there a word limit too? Yes, there is a word limit. You need to finish your report within 150 to 200 words. But wait a second, what tense are we going to use in the report writing? In fact, we write a combination of simple past sentences and simple past passive sentences when we write the report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea if you give us a revision of the simple past tense with some examples. Yes, I'm going to do that right now. So let's talk about past tense now. Okay, ask me, what do you want to know? Okay, what exactly can we do with the past simple tense? Yes, we use past tense to talk about what happened yesterday or what happened a hundred years ago. In other words, we can use this tense to talk about an action that started in the past and ended in the past. Okay, and how do you form the past simple sentences? To form the simple past sentences, we put a subject, then we put the verb in the past form. Let us have a look at some examples. Many people supported the campaign against the single-use plastic bags. The college student displayed placards with slogans in the campaign. The organizers invited the deputy commissioner as a chief guest in the last week's event. And you also said that we're going to use simple past passive sentences for writing a report? Yes, you are right. Mm. And why do we do that? Well, we do that to emphasize or stress on the incident or the event. In other words, when the subject is less important than the event or the incident, we use simple past passive form. 
just form simple past passive sentences, we put the event, activity or the person as a subject, then we put was, where, and then we put the past participle form of the verb. Okay, and I'm quite sure you were going to give us some examples of these sentences, I guess. Let us look at some example. The campaign against alcohol advertising was supported by many people. Many placards with catchy slogans were displayed in the campaign. The deputy commissioner was invited as a chief guest for the last week's event. In example one, the campaign against alcohol advertising is the event, and this is emphasized here. In example two, many placards with catchy slogan is emphasized here. It's an activity. And in example three, the deputy commissioner was invited as the chief guest. He is the person. So, in all these three examples, the subject is not important. We are either emphasizing on the event or the activity or the person. Okay, does that mean that report writing is going to be a very difficult task? Not at all. What do you mean? We're going to look at some very useful words for the reports that we have picked up as examples for this video, including noun, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. Oh, I'm tired. I'm going to grab a coffee. Do you need one? Oh, I'm good. Thanks. Let me take you back to the point where I discussed about the types of report writing in CBSC exams. Remember, I talked about two types of report, event organization, an accident, or an incident. Now, keeping this in mind, in this video, I'll first discuss about event organization, which will be for a magazine or a newspaper, and then I'll talk about an accident or an incident that will be for a newspaper. And I'll also provide you with sample examples. So, when you write a report for a magazine or a newspaper, the first thing is to set a headline. Usually, it is advised that you put a catchy headline like you see here, a colorful annual day celebration at Zenith Public School. The second task is to put a byline where you put the reporter's name, as in this case, I have written reported by Rohan. We do the same for a newspaper report writing. We put a headline, but in case of byline of a newspaper report, we put the reporter's name and the name of the newspaper organization the reporter belongs to in parentheses. For example, here I have written reported by Rohan, but in parentheses I have written stuff reporter of TOI. TOI stands for Times of India. Let us look at a sample example of a report writing on an event organization for a school magazine. Let us begin by looking at a CBSC sample question. So here is the question. You are Rohan Ridima of Senate Public School, Delhi. Your school celebrated the annual day on 13th of November 2020. Prepare a report on it to be published in the school magazine. The word limit is 150 to 200 words. Now, before we move ahead, let's imagine the sequence of events of an annual function day. What are the things that you get to see in an annual function day in a school? We're going to look at them paragraph wise so that you get an idea of paragraph organization of a report writing as well. So we begin by saying about the celebration. We talk about the when and where of the event. And we talk about who was the distinguished person that was invited as the chief guest. We're going to look at how the event uh, got responses from people. Then in paragraph two, we're going to talk about the details of the event. The principal welcomed the guest with his inaugural speech, the theme of the event. Then we talk about some performances like class 12 students stole the show with a mime. And then there were some dance and debates competition as well. In paragraph three, we're going to talk about the chief guest's speech. Then we will also include a quotation from the chief guest. And then we will talk about 
how the event was winded up. Finally, we're going to talk about the opinions and feedback from the parents about their experience of the celebration. Let us take one paragraph at a time and set the sentences. Take a note of the usage of simple past and simple past passive sentences as you go through the slides. So we're going to start with the heading and then the byline where we write the reporter's name. The heading here is a colorful annual day celebration at Zenith Public School and reported by Rohan. Now we write the what, when and where of the event. So what was the event? The 22nd annual day celebration. When was it? On November 13, 2020 from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And where was it? At the Central Auditorium of Zenith Public School. We now mention the name of the chief guest. Ms. Aris Dasari, DC of Mysore, was invited as a chief guest to the celebration. And then we talk about the responses from different sections of people about the event. So the event witnessed an overwhelming response from the students, parents, teachers, and a few important dignitaries. We now move on to the second paragraph. Here we talk about the principal's welcome or inaugural speech. So the principal, Dr. Manpreet Sidhu, welcomed the guest with his inaugural speech. Then we add some information about the theme of the function. Here it is, Save Tigers. Now we give some details about the performances by the students. The students of class 12 stole the show with a fantastic mime on the theme of Saving Tigers. This was followed by many programs such as dance performances and two debate competitions. Finally, we talk about the prize distributions. The winners of the competition and the best academic performers were awarded prizes. Here, you may take a pause and have a look at the list of words that I have used for composing these paragraphs. These words are really helpful for composing any report for your exam. Let us now move on to the last paragraph. In the last paragraph, we're going to talk about the chief guest's speech. So the chief guest delivered a speech and enlightened everyone about tiger conservation. To make it more appealing, we're going to use a quotation from the chief guest. So he said, I'm really delighted to see how the students are using their textbook knowledge to create awareness about real life issues. Now we talk about how the function was winded up function was winded up with a vote of thanks and the singing of the national anthem. To conclude, we'll add some responses from the parents present in the function. So many parents said that this was one of the best functions they had attended in Zenith Public School. We are now going to take a CBSE sample question of a report writing about an accident. So let us look at this question. You are Ahan or Hana, the staff reporter of the Times of India. You witnessed an accident that took place in Noida where a lorry collided with a school bus causing injury to many children. Prepare a report on it in 200 words to be published in the newspaper. So let's imagine the sequence of events of an accident. Here, we're going to divide them into paragraphs. So in paragraph one, we're going to talk about what, when, and where of the accident. Then in paragraph two, we will give the details of the accident, like talk about the major and minor injuries received by the passengers. This could be followed by a short description of the condition of vehicles involved in the accident. Next, we talk about the arrival of the police and transfer of the injured people to the hospitals. Finally, we talk about an eyewitness's account in a quotation. Moving on to paragraph 3, we talk about the detentions and arrests made by the police. Lastly, we talk about the compensation announcement by the authority and inquiry into the accident. So let's get to the report writing. 
First of all, we write the heading. Here, I have written negligent driving caused major accident. Then I write the byline. Here it is Ahan. So I write reported by Ahan. Since this is a report for the newspaper, so I also write the name of the organization Ahan belongs to. It is TOI, the short form of Times of India. Remember, the name was mentioned in the question itself. So first of all, since this is a newspaper report, let's put the name of the place and date at the beginning of the paragraph. And now let's get to the what, where and when of the accident. So what is it? A major bus mishap. Where? Below the DND flyover Noida. When? About 8 p.m. yesterday. And how? A school bus filled with students and some teachers collided with an 18-wheeler lorry loaded with a huge generator while it was crossing the intersection. Let's move on to paragraph 2. In paragraph 2, we talk about the details of the accident. So, we talk about the major and minor injuries. The accident resulted in serious injuries to the bus driver, six students and two teachers who were sitting in the front. The rest of the student received minor injuries. Let's look at the condition of the vehicle. The front of the bus was dented because of the impact from the collision. Now, the arrival of the police. A squad of police immediately reached the spot to help the victims. Luckily, there were no fatalities. Let's talk about the injured people. The injured were quickly transferred to the nearby hospital by two ambulances. Now, to conclude the paragraph, let's talk about an eyewitness's account of the accident. An eyewitness recounted it was the fault of the school bus driver who did not slow down on time. Here, take a pause to look at the list of words I used to compose the paragraphs. These words will help you to compose most of the reports about accident. Finally, this is paragraph 3. Here we talk about the arrests and detentions. The police arrested the bus driver and also detained the lorry driver for interrogation. Then we talk about the compensation announcement. The school authority announced that they would bear the expenses of the injured people. Finally, assurance of an inquiry. In addition, the school also assured an inquiry into the incident. Once again, Look at the words that I have used. You may note these words for writing most of the reports about accidents. Okay, I'm back. Are you done? Mm, I guess. Did you also tell the do's and don'ts of report writing? Oh yes, here are some do's and don'ts of report writing. The first thing you need to remember is to present facts. Do not give opinions. Be objective. Secondly, do not mention your personal details in the report. Use the assumed name or the name of the newspaper provided in the question itself. Finally, leave adequate space between the paragraphs to make it look clean. Right guys, that's all about report writing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have liked it, please press the like button and share the video with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more such interesting videos in future. If you have any suggestions as to what should I be picking up for my next video, please put them in the comment box. Do not forget to wear masks, stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.